Hi guys, Justin here, Farm 26. Welcome to the channel. So, I've been kind of uh, taking it easy today, but I've uh, been doing little bits here and there and, you know, working for, well, not really working, but been playing with this thing for, you know, 20 minutes, half hour, and then go take a break, and then 20 minutes, half hour. And I come up with something. Found a way to get the electric motor. He's right. I don't know if you can see him or not, but well, I'll tell you what. Get you down to my level. So I made this little box frame here. It needs nothing special, just two by eight, a couple two by sixes. Put a plank across for a motor, belt, you know. The nice thing is I don't have to drill into this machine. I don't have to, it kind of retains Everything I need, the only thing that's going to be different is this hub. And the old hub will be able to be put back on. It's a matter of pulling a pin and, and putting the crank back on. So I just thought I'd uh, kind of show that. So that's how I captured the legs. Did that on both sides, on both ends. If you look back there, you can see that it's uh, captured the same. You know, nothing, nothing crazy. There's my... 2x6 that the motor sits on. You know, nothing, nothing wild. Just, uh, yeah. The nice thing is, before, your bucket wouldn't fit under your cleanouts, and now they do. Yeah. So it's a little progress. I mean, nothing, nothing wild, but it's a little progress. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the idea right there. So this is what we come up with. Uh, you can see I took my weld hub. I just faced that off. Well, I faced the whole thing off. I made a recess and that recess is so, I don't know how well you can see that or not, but so that you got that weld fillet. That's just to give it a little space there. That way you got some penetration. Uh, down the bore, I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to line it for you. It's just a roll pin. And it is. It's it's that simple. It's it's a weld on hub. This is just a piece of, of half inch round. Uh, I just drilled a hole through the side and and welded them in. Timed them with the keyway. And that is it. We did uh, throw the belt in. He's got two spots of weld on him. And uh, I'll fire him up and show you how she works. So here's our motor setup. We just got him bolted down. He is spaced, you know, like there, he's, he's spaced the same. Uh, belt tension, I mean, that's, it's plenty floppy, but it, it does, uh, it does hold it well. I mean, it, it, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna set you up on a tripod and, uh, I'll get I'll get this thing running and uh, we'll give you a minute of, of cleaning some oats and then uh, we'll probably go and make a hopper for up top. Uh, it's gonna need something that just it's just not big enough. And this is a five gallon bucket of oats and you can see there's still room in there, but when it starts shaking it, it levels out flat. And you could probably get another half a bucket in there and it does spill out the sides. So, uh, yeah, there you go. So we're just going to plug it in.
And here's what I mean by it levels out. gallon buckets you guys saw go through in real time so I uh, got kind of got an idea these things are not that slow I mean they're not the world's fastest machine you can get much bigger much more efficient but you should be able to do I would guess um, that's not quite a bushel bushel every two to three minutes something like that so well maybe that might be a bushel yeah, that's not far from it. The bushel is only 32 pounds of, of oats. I think that is a little heavier oats, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get back to you as soon as we start on the top. All right. So here's what I come up with. Uh, I know you can't see detail from there, but uh, what that is, it's, it's just a pallet, and I just took the thicker, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll show you that what the exact volume is i don't know but you know i mean it's it's more than doubled it's probably quadrupled yeah and then and this is how i did it i just tabbed them in so they would kind of lock and save them on the other side it's just a square base, you know, just three, three sheetrock screws across there. Not crazy. And this is the same, but different. I got a, a locker back here, you know, and it can't move. I mean, you could, but yeah, that's all it is. Just, uh, there's a better view how I did that. Four screws on the, I don't know if that's six inches or what it is, but just what I had laying around, you know. But, uh, yeah. It's kind of crazy. You go from that to this guy on. to that which you know that's a heck of an improvement then you throw this little I don't know it's three inch or what it is I mean well yeah you can see so that bottom goes down to here. I mean, that's, let me get a tape. So if you measure down to the bottom, it's 16 inches. I mean, crazy. But what that's gonna allow me to do is uh, run an auger into it. Uh, it won't be a huge auger won't be a real fast auger but I, I can now auger into this and 
You flip your auger on, you fill it, you let it get down, fill it, let it get down. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna edit this video up and uh, post it or if I'm gonna wait till then. We'll see what the minutes are. And yeah, next time you see this, it will be live and in action, doing real work. Well, there you have it. I know you can't see much, but uh, yeah, wheat's coming out. Just got a little uh, five-inch auger here. in it. Not too bad though. I can get you a good shot of all of it. Not really. Kind of a spread out operation. Okay.